everybody. I'm gonna do a really fast video. Um, per the request of one of my followers, I decided to make this video because she's kind of like freaking out about the coronavirus and her family and things that, you know, she's concerned about. Um, basically, I think that, you know, just be safe, wash your hands, you know, stay inside if you have lupus. Like, that's just common sense. Don't go out. If you are sick, if you have problems, then just don't leave the house, you know? Um, it's just as simple as that. I know that our lives are being, you know, disrupted and things are difficult right now, going through 14 days um, or longer. But, you know, we all, we are all doing this. So it's not just you doing it. It's everybody. It's the world. Um, so, you know, I mean, there is, there is hope. Like, things are getting better in different areas. So I believe that after this week, after this big hump and, and incline of sick people, I think that the things are going to get better. <clears throat> I really, truly believe that. And if you don't believe in that, um, I know this is a controversial topic that, you know, you don't usually have to talk about in public. You probably shouldn't like politics, but like, here we go. Um, if you're scared and if you have things going on in your head and you're just really not too sure about things, then I suggest you open your Bible. Um, you know... You don't even have to go to a certain place. Just close your eyes, open your Bible, put your finger on it, and read the verse that your finger decided for you. Because guess what? Your finger didn't decide it. God did. And I think that everybody needs to remember that. And, you know, through crises like this, I think that the best way to cope would be to do something like that. That is just my opinion. Um, also, a verse that I have read over and over and over and over and over again now is Psalms 91.10. It says, No evil shall befall me and my family, nor shall any plague come near our dwellings. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, I think that we all need to just remember that. Um, on another note, I want to address the lupus walk. To those that have donated, thank you so much. Um, to the ones that are thinking about sending me a check, don't. Um, right now, everybody needs their money. Um, I know that I just received a check from my Uncle Jim. Uncle Jim, if you're reading this, I'm tearing your check up. And I'm going to like you know let you know of, in other means as well, not just here. But like I'm tearing your check up because... I know that the sentiment is from your heart and that, you know, everybody that donated was like, they, they just really super appreciated, you know, me and they want to find a cure for me and like they support me and everything. But right now everybody needs every little penny, um, in their pockets because some of us are being laid off. Some of us are not getting our government check or whatever. And, you know, you could use that money. And there's a walk next year that everybody can help me with. Um, so just remember that. You can help me next year with the walk. Hi, Dexter. So, um, you know, there is that as well. So I also just got a phone call from my work. Um, they are not going to be back in business until May which means I'm laid off until May and they're not paying me. So, um, I have contacted a temp agency and I told them that I would be willing to work until I have to go back to my job. Um, I'm, you know, I know that this is probably, you know, some people are going to say, are you an idiot? But you know, I got bills too that I need to pay. Um, so I am going to, you know, volunteer for like Red Cross, um, 
at a hospital. And you know, some people may say, oh my God, you're gonna go to a hospital, you're gonna get COVID. But you know what? No, I'm not. The hospitals are probably, I mean, this is my rationale. The hospitals are probably a lot more cleaner than your run of the mill doctor's offices anyway. Because in the doctor's offices, you have all kinds of people coming in sicker than hell, giving you stuff. Like, there's no PPE in doctor's offices. None. And um, I feel like in a hospital setting, at least I would have masks and PPE available to me if I, you know, if I'm concerned about it. At least I know that it is available for me to use. So I think that, you know... My job profession is healthcare and like, you know, I've got bills. So like, and I know that they need me. So I'm just going to like go on and, you know, and this whole Plaquenil thing, like I'm on Plaquenil again now. Um, my doctor decided to put me back on it and, you know, so we'll, I think that I'm okay. I feel like, you know, if I get it, then I get it. I'm going to be on Plaquenil and do a Z-Pack, and I think things will be fine. Um, but at least I'll be helping the community, and at least this way I'll be able to, you know, do my payments on stuff that needs to be paid. Like, I still have two more car payments, you know, that I have to do <clears throat> that are coming up pretty soon. Um, so, you know, I have to be able to take care of myself. Um, you know, this, this whole government <laughs> issue right now about the stimulus check is just beyond my comprehension as well. I cannot believe that Democrats and Republicans are fighting over whether to give relief to Americans that are laid off because of a pandemic. Who fights over that? Um, it really just goes to show how America treats other human beings and you know right now we really need to be just respectful you know of other people's feelings um I think that I've been saying that for a couple weeks now we all need to just be respectful of other people's feelings we need to be aware of how we're making people feel and we need to respect that and and you know right now we all need to be there for each other like, you know, I just found out last night that somebody that I grew up with, like literally grew up with in her home, her grandmother took care of me. Sorry, I got interrupted by a phone call. <laughs> um, anyways, where I was at, um, you know, I, what I found out last night that somebody that I know has COVID and it's, you know, it's very scary. Um, she sent me a message. She's doing fine. And, you know, at one point she said that she was what she was ready to tell her family and loved ones goodbye. Um, that's scary. And again, when we're at that situation, if we get COVID and and we're at that situation where we feel like it's it's there, we're going to go and there's nothing that anybody can do about it. We need to just be comforted knowing that God is with us and he holds us and he does everything for us and he takes care of our needs. And I think that everybody just needs to return. I really do. I feel like everybody just needs to really return there. Um, and you know, Maybe this is, um, you know, natural selection at its finest and, and God saying, you know, you all need to get it together. And I'm crying because it's emotional for me because, you know, I care about every human being out there that are dying. I don't care if you're from China. I don't care if you're from the Middle East. I don't care if you're from Italy. I don't care if you're homeless. Like, I care if people are dying. Um, you know, I've, <laughs> I've really kept my jokes to a minimum because I don't think that this is something that we all need to be joking about. Um, there are some things that we need to joke about, but there are some things that we shouldn't be joking about. And that's just my opinion. And I wish people would respect that. Um, you know, 
I wish that I had that respect. <laughs> um, but, you know, such is life. And we're all human beings and we all um, deal with situations differently. So, um, some of the good things that have come out of all this is, you know, have you guys seen um, Venice's water is, like, all clear. It's crazy. And, like, dolphins are coming up to the shore and, you know... This is like a reset, <laughs> a reset on, you know, think, to get it right. And we all need to be mindful and we all need to be thankful for what we have right now. And we all need to respect each other. Um, and that's it. And we all need to stop being so angry and hateful. Um... Because at the end of the day, all it does is hurt people. <sighs> so, there's my rant. It's not really a rant. There's my, my blog. Um, yeah. And, you know, I think that we all need to just sit down at the end of the day. And we all need to pray for each other. And we all need to be there for each other. And we all need to hold hands and in our minds because of social distancing, um, you know, and carry on and do things better for our second chance. This is our second chance and we need to do things better. Um, and that's all I have to say, you know, that's it. All right. So everybody take care. Thanks for listening once more. I know this was pretty much off topic and this was just about COVID, um, I'm doing fine right now. I feel a little bit better. I think I'm starting to get used to my medications. I didn't address that. Sorry, I'll address that right now. Um, I think that I'm starting to get used to the cell sept. I think that I was really shortness of breath and everything because of my new meds. Um, so I think that that is good. So with that being said, I'm going to go and I will talk with y'all later. Bye. Breathe in, breathe deep, you know that's all you need